All right, Jenny, we made it to week six of the study. And I don't know about you, but I'm super pumped. There's been a lot of hard work that's gone into it, but we've made it. <laughs> so good job, everybody. Yes. So Jenny, what would you say to our OBSers as they are in the home stretch to our study? Any words of wisdom or any anything you'd like to say? Oh, you know what? I just want to encourage you that this can change because as you finish, I think the, the lie that we might believe is that there's no way this is really going to change anything. And, and I'll tell you that my mind has changed. I am free. When I think back to the beginning story of, of the doubt that I walked through for 18 months, and yes, there was prayer, and yes, there was fasting, and yes, there was a lot of this book and fighting back against the enemy and the lies that I had been believing, but I don't struggle with that anymore. Like, I don't struggle with doubt the way that I did. I remember a mentor actually looked at me in the eyes and said, Jenny, I don't think you're ever gonna struggle with that thing again. Now, anxiety, it came back up, right? Like, we're still fighting some fights and we will for the rest of our lives, but I do believe that there is victory and that we don't have to be defined by our struggles and we don't have to be defined by our, you know, weaknesses and our, our anxiety and our depression, we can be set free. So you gotta believe it. And, and I believe you've gotta keep fighting for it. Mm, that's good, gotta keep fighting for it. I think that's something that we're gonna be saying for a long time. So um, we have one more to the girl segment. And so I would love for you to speak into the girl who's not exactly sure what to do next. Oh yeah. Well, I would say number one, do not get discouraged and do not doubt the idea of winning the day, right? Like do the next right thing. And it's, it's the word of God. I had to get off of Twitter and some things that were causing cynicism and doubt to flood my mind. Notice your inputs and protect yourself from them. You're not gonna change overnight. We're gonna change over time. That's how spiritual formation happens. And, and so we put, our, we put our noses in this book, we get on our knees, we pray, we, we spend time with God, and then the most important too is to bring people into your thought life. Do not live alone in your head. For so long, I let the devil tell me whatever he wanted. And that was really the biggest mistake of those 18 months was I did not bring community into it. I was reciting scripture in the night. I was praying and fighting back but I did not tell anybody what I was fighting with. So do not be afraid to bring community in and to tell people that you trust, hey, this is what I'm fighting. And don't fight it for 18 months, fight it for 18 minutes, right? Like this is the victory that we get to have if we believe God. That's so good. I love, once again, you brought in the whole idea of community. And that's what we hope you are finding here throughout the online Bible study. You find maybe a friend that lives somewhere completely different in the world or just someone who you can share with and be together and pray for because there's something so powerful when two believers get together and share what's going on. Um, and we just love that that's an opportunity here with online Bible studies. And so, Jenny, before we close our time together officially, I would love if you would pray over our open BSers who have done get out of your head. Yes, I would love to. God, I thank you for every woman that is listening. I thank you that there is an army out there that loves you, that the church is not shrinking, it is growing. And one of the ways it's growing, God, is, is through people that are, are committed to, to follow you and to walk with you and to fight our own stuff, right? And, and I just pray, God, that this would be a season of victory for those that are listening that there would be hope that would flood them, that there would be peace, and that there would be patience and self-control. And only you can produce those things in our lives, God. We can't will those things into being. God, you issue those things through your spirit. And so help us to follow you, to walk with you. I pray that we would not grow weary in doing what is good, but that we would believe there is a harvest coming and that that harvest is worth whatever it takes right now to fight our way out of our own darkness and our own lies, or whether that is to fight for other people that are believing lies. God, would we be people that set other people free because of your word, because of your spirit, because of your power? God, I thank you for the authority that you've given us because of the blood of Jesus that we get to fight this and be victorious, God. And, and would you show us what what to do next? Would you show us the next right thing and, and give us, God, your spirit, more of it and, and the power that you give us because of your word, because of Jesus's blood on the cross, God. For those that don't know you, God, would this be the day that they trust you? Would they surrender to the God that loves them, that knows them, that built them, that set them in their places, God? Would they believe that you are real? Thank you 
for Jesus. Thank you that you made a way for us to be set free. And thank you that, that you are working all things together for good. And I pray that, that there would be peace that just comes in, in knowing you and resting in you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Jenny, thank you so much for writing this book. Thank you for allowing us to do it for an online Bible study. I know we have had a blast and we've learned a lot. And so just thank you for all that you have done and will continue to do to further the gospel and the kingdom. So thank you so much. And everyone, as we close our time together, just remember ch change happens over time. Jenny mentioned it in um, this weekly video. Change happens over time. Keep fighting and remember to gather girls, people, community around you to fight those battles right alongside you. And remember, when you know the truth and live the truth, it changes everything. We will see you guys soon. Have a great week of study.